have Mr. Apin himself, Rob. Let's give it up one more time. Because starting a show is probably as scary as being in it at all. Um, and I am so happy to be able to play at MAGFest and be at MAGFest again. I'm sure everyone is. I've been wanting to play at MAGFest my arrangements for uh, six, seven years now. So uh, I have to thank uh, Mr. Mason Lieberman for generously letting me play instead. And uh, of course the MAG staff, they've been doing incredible work. We're so lucky to have volunteers this year again. Thank you. And I've been given express permission to take this off just for the show. Yeah, that's what my face looks like, I'm so sorry. I was born with it. But we are excited. If you don't know either of us, uh, I've been making YouTube music videos and game stuff for 11 years. Uh, I'm a VFX junkie and sometimes I also play guitar. And of course, if you haven't heard Colby, he's also a fantastic hard rock guitarist, bassist for the Seattle band Armature. And uh, we've both covered a lot of Persona, Final Fantasy, Zelda, you name it. So we've got a bunch of that for you today. And uh, I'm just gonna start playing. This is uh, a little song called Beneath the Mask. Sing along so I don't forget the words, please.
<laughs> awesome. Once again, uh, I'm really, really excited to be here, and I have to riff a lot because I can only come up with so many songs on a week's notice, but uh, a lot of the songs that we're picking here, some of them are my arrangements, some of them are Colby's, and some of them are just songs that we really love from games. Um, and this one's one that I think everyone, hopefully, might know and can sing along. It's a song from a game about running. This is a City Escape from Sonic Adventure. I better hear people sing. best I can do for a Sonic. I'm sure everyone can do better. Alright, we're already off to a good start. I didn't have to sing as much. <laughs> now, um, again, I've introduced us as kind of rock people, which is why we're doing a plug set, but uh, one of the cool things I've also explored is uh, my Indian heritage, and not a lot of video game music really has a lot of Indian influence, and I'm not counting, you know, whenever Phrygian skills used, but, <laughs> sorry, music joke. But uh, one of the best parts is being able to uh, kind of learn how to play a little bit of sitar and tabla for um, any Indian people out there or those familiar. And uh, one of the coolest things I could do is kind of fuse a really heavy metal vibe with uh, some of the Carnatic music I've worked on. So you all probably played the game this is from, but it's a little bit of a different take. This is uh, from Ocarina of Time. It's called Pochin Shop. Feel free to throw down how many you choose.
Um, a lot of you uh, can definitely tell we are uh, electric guitarists first, um, and Colby lucked out getting to bring his. That song was written for eight string electric guitar. So um, I appreciate your patience as I try to forget two strings. Just have a good time, and honestly, I am. This is awesome. Um, but being electric, you know, metal guitar players, a lot of songs that we're gonna play for you, they feel metal anyway. It's more of an adjective, it's an energy. And uh, there's no metal theme from games that I thought would be more appropriate than the theme for the sexiest villain in Final Fantasy history. Uh, this is an unplugged one-winged angel for you all. You're gonna need a sing-along. <laughs>
So uh, one of the things uh, Colby and I got to do, we are both huge Zelda fans, so when we found out Link's Awakening was getting rebooted, we made a huge medley, but we're not going to memorize all that. So uh, <laughs> Colby suggests we're going to play a little bit of it and just jam around. Hopefully you guys like this one. It's a, it's a break. <laughs> this is Main Village.
it's really cool because a lot of the songs we get to play here, you know, are recognized by a lot of folks. Um, but it's really awesome to have a MAGFest where we get to play stuff that not everyone knows. And that way, if you do know, you feel more special than everyone else. All right, who here has played a sweet little indie game called Ickenfell? Are you serious? <laughs> All right, instead we're just gonna play Smash Bros. <laughs> this is a beautiful, Ickenfell is a beautiful indie game, and it's got gorgeous music by Ivy and Sarashu. If you watch Steven Universe, I mean, that's better. Anyway, like it or not, we're playing it. <laughs> and I think it's a lot of fun. So uh, this is Rhythm of the Wild. Let's go. set, but uh, one of the best things that again happened in the last few years is just so many really good indie games and indie game soundtracks. Sorry, my water fell over. I didn't want it to feel like I abandoned it. Now, one of uh, my favorite indie games that I got turned on to by a lot of really good friends um, is a game called Hades. Yeah. Who's played Hades? Yeah. Hell yeah. Get it? Sorry. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of adrenaline running. Now, uh, this is a song that I actually covered with my buddy Matt, and then uh, I replaced him with Cole. <laughs> I'm extremely fortunate to have amazing friends who make music with me, uh, many of which are, of course, here. It's the only reason why I really come to MAGFest, right? And uh, I'm really lucky to have them helping film the uh, set, listening to all my rehearsals. Thank you, Allison, of course. Listening to all of my mess-ups. Uh, but this song's really, really fun. And like Potion Shop, it also has a little bit of that Indian influence. Something just to kind of balance all parts of me. And uh, it'll be fun to clap along to. It's, it's very proggy. So, uh, you know, maybe don't. <laughs> this is Scourge of the Furies. I pronounced that right, right? From Haiti. Let's go.
is where we break down through the metal show. We'll do it anyway. Sometimes we just gotta sing along one more. I really wanted to sing along a lot for some reason this year. And um, over what last year, I binged through a certain series that has a amazing music. One of my best friends, David Russell, he's uh, taught me the ways of loving this franchise very deeply, as has Colby. And um, I think everyone hopefully will be able to sing along to this one. So uh, without overdoing it, let's keep it simple and clean. <laughs> Thank you. 